San Diego 6 News in the Morning. Your station for Balanced News. And California is one of the top 10 states reporting mortgage fraud activities. Our guest will explain how to avoid becoming a victim of mortgage schemes. Well, we brought our own expert in this morning, uh, Mike ba uh, Matt Battiata here. I'm trying to call him Mike all morning long. Matt Battiata in here this morning uh, from Battiata Real Estate again. It's great to see you, Matt. Thanks. How have you been? Me. I've been well. Thanks. Good. All right. Uh, since the last time we saw you here, when the, the market we knew was bad and nobody was making money, apparently some people have figured out a way to make money, but it's not legal. Yeah, you know, this scam was interesting. I think you made an interesting comment, which is that everybody involved in these transactions had to know that there was something up. And I, I actually had a personal experience. We had a property on the market and we had an offer from these guys. When I saw this story, I said, boy, this, this sounds familiar. Really? And they made an offer that was $100,000 over the asking price on a property. And the idea was that ostensibly they're going to use that money to upgrade the property for handicap access. Now, my question when that happened is, first of all, how are you going to get the property to appraise? There's no way it's going to appraise $100,000 higher, number one. And number two, what, you know, what could you do to this house that's going to cost $100,000? And when I, when I asked these questions, these guys got very nervous and said, well, we have our own appraiser. We have our own escrow company. We're going to take care of it. And the more questions we asked, they finally said, well, you know, if you don't want our offer, we can go buy another one. And we said, well, you better do that. Yeah, so you, maybe you better go do that. Yep. So they... They basically, they offer to buy it at a higher price than the asking price, and they, 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 they find a bank that's willing to loan Yeah, they that, had straw buyers. They had straw buyers, which we now know were apparently gang members. They were using your, their Social Security numbers. They would make, so these buyers had nothing to do with this transaction, but they got paid a little bit. They had a, a real estate broker who got paid on a monthly basis, apparently, to write these offers, and they would make the offers $100,000 over the asking price. And, and of then, course, the seller's going, oh my gosh, I've... I've sure. Well, I've, they, the 100000 then was kicked back to them. They said, we need a $100,000 credit back. So they're escrow. really defrauding yeah. the lender. <laughs> and they said, we're going to use that $100,000 to upgrade the property, which of course is ridiculous. Okay, so the, the seller in this case really... The seller got a full price offer. Got so a full they, price offer. They looked for properties apparently that had been sitting on the market for a while. But what I'm saying is that, you know, the seller... The, maybe not the seller, but definitely the listing agent had to know when that offer came in. You know, how are you going to get a four hundred a house that's sitting on the market for four hundred thousand to appraise at five hundred thousand all of a sudden? But in this case, happen. probably the, the sellers were probably the only people that didn't really do anything. The sellers probably were here. not aware. Right, exactly. They just thought maybe somebody is buying this house and going to spend all this money to upgrade it. Okay, so in the end, though, who really gets hurt? From this. Well, I think it's the taxpayers, really, because these lenders are now having to be bailed out. The lenders made money on the loan, but every, they, they, these guys bought 220 homes in San Diego, and every single one of them has gone to foreclosure. And I would also think that the, the other people that get hurt are the people in the neighborhoods where that, that right. home, it's a when the scammers the walk away from it, it goes into foreclosure. Yeah, it's a blight on the neighborhood. So it drags absolutely. the property values down throughout the whole neighborhood as well. Right. In, in the big overall picture here, how big a part do scams like this play, you think, in dragging the market a down? A pretty small part, actually. And, you know, the, the lenders really, I mean, in this case, they're saying now that the lenders apparently knew that these guys were, you know, were not on the up and up, but they just wanted to do the loans and, and, and keep their profits up and so forth. I think at the end of the day, it's a pretty small part of the problem. The big problem is the lenders did loans that they really, that in many cases they knew were never going to pan out, but they just did them because they knew they were being insured and they were going to make up money on the upfront and then sell the loans. So, so if you're a seller, that's, you're the one that needs to be kind of on the lookout for this kind of scheme. Well, right in now. San Diego right now, if you're a homeowner, and there's a lot of homeowners out there because the market, the median price in San Diego has dropped literally 50 percent. And it's probably dropped more than that. The numbers are a little bit skewed because, as we were talking earlier, the recorder's office counts trustee sales as sales. So when the bank takes a property back, the recorder's office and DataQuick counts that as an actual sale. So last year, to give you an idea, well, Mark... This is when the home is just uh, repossessed when they by the bank. On, when the bank forecloses on a property at a trustee sale, the recorder's office counts that as a sale. Oh as my if, gosh, see, I never realized that. Right. So well, that, here, that would drastically you, inflate the, the sales right. numbers. Then. And the prices, because the bank takes that property back at whatever price they were owed. So if they're owed $500,000 on a property and they foreclose on it because they start the bidding at what they're owed. Right. No, no, no uh, investor is going to offer $500,000 because the house is not worth that. They take back the property at five hundred. Guess what? That's counted as a sale of at $500,000, which it wasn't a sale. It was the opposite of a sale, and it would have never sold for five hundred. So 
said, this will blow your mind. Last year in 2008, there were 29,000 sales in San Diego County. Guess how many of those 29,000 sales were trustee sales? I'm thinking about half of them, maybe. 22,000. Oh, my gosh. So oh, there were only 7,000 actual arm's length transactions. And that's what's amazing. is wow. So even with that said, it appears that the median price has dropped by 50%. Well, guess what? It's actually dropped more than that. Because that those is, sales prices were not real sales prices. That's a dirty little secret that I think a lot of people are hearing it's here for the first time. It's very interesting. Yeah. It the me. good news is, though, we're almost at the bottom. <laughs> okay, yeah. well, let's, let's hope so. Matt, always great to yeah, see you. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank uh, you. We'll have more information at SanDiego6.com. We'll link up uh, our website to your website at uh, Batty Auto Real Estate. Great. Great to see you again. Thank you very much. All right, uh, again, go to SanDiego6.com. Click on Hot Topics for more info.